What's up Hoopers, it's Coach Alex from Think Pro Basketball and if you need to get warmed up before a game, this video is perfect for you because we're about to go over the ultimate 10 minute pre-game warm up routine. Let's get started. Alright Hoopers, well I'm going to give you five different drills that you're going to be doing two minutes each of. Okay, so you're doing each drill that you see for two total minutes. All right, we're going to do some finishes around the basket, we're going to get some mid-range jumpers and some three-point shooting as well. All right, these drills are ones that I like to use before games just to get my body flowing, get my, my jumper going, get my rhythm going so I'm prepared for the game. So let's dive right into it. And the first drill we're going to see and work on is just a simple drill around the basket. I mean, I'm a guard, so I'm going to kind of give you some guard drills. And all we're going to do is use floaters. So all I like to do is swing that ball around my back, floater, go to the other side, same thing. You can take a dribble in between around the back, floater okay so this is just getting your floater loose you're finishing around the basket so when you get into the game you're able to shoot over the top of a defender shot blocker with your floater it's always good as a point guard any guard play even a big to use a floater and add that to your game so again you got one dribble wrap it around just to use as control we're just taking the dribble wrapping that ball around right into our floater off of one or two feet if you like all right so let's get right into it here it is in full speed Floaters to get you started with your ultimate 10 minute pregame warm up. Alright, guys, moving on to the next drill. We're going to work on some variety finishes. Alright, adding some combo dribble in. All right, so this is just to work on your finishes, get you ready for some contact around the basket, get you ready to avoid shot blockers, just add a different type of finish each time. So on the wing, what I want you to do is give a little dribble combination. It doesn't have to be two, it could just be a single, it could just be like a little quick in and out or a crossover. All right, so give a dribble move out on the perimeter. Now we're gonna attack the basket and I wanna see something different every time. So I might give you a Euro step, finish, okay? And then I'm gonna come out here, same thing. I'm going to give you a dribble combination. <clears throat> Boom. I might get in here and I might give you a spin move, right? And finish. Or I can give you an up and under, okay? I can give you a finger roll. I can give you a high glass finish. I can give you an opposite leg finish, all right? Lots of different types of finishes. Mix it up. Get yourself ready for the game. All right, here it is. Variety finishes with the dribble combo in full speed. All right, guys, we're moving on to the third drill. Remember, every drill that you've seen is two minutes long. So you're getting five total drills to add up to that 10 minutes. Right now, alternating pull-up jump shots. Again, these are drills that I like to use before games to get me going. As a point guard, I like to shoot in the mid-range. I like to work on my floaters and work on different finishes around the basket so I'm ready for the game. So with alternating pull-up jump shots, you can do this from really anywhere on the court. I'm just going to show you from the top. So alternating pull-up jump shots is just a simple one dribble, pull-up jumper. Get my rebound, get back out to the top, now I'm going to go to the left side, one dribble, pull-up jump shot. Easy, very simple, but it gets you going. Works on your dribble, your, your dribble, number one, and number two helps you work on getting your shot off of the dribble because as a guard, a lot of the times I'm playing in the pick and roll, I got to be able to get to my mid-range pull-up jump shot, all right? So this is alternating pull-up jumpers in full speed. All right, guys, now we're going to move on to the fourth drill, and we're going to be working on step-back jumpers. A big part of the game that I like was being able to create separation and space for my jump shot using the step-back. So with this move, you're going to be working on both sides, the wing areas. And all we're doing, you can mix it up, you can alternate. So one time you can go to the right hand, inside foot, step-back. You can go to the left hand, boom, step-back. But after you shoot, so I'm going to do one at a time. So this way, if I'm going, shoot get my step back, shoot, get my rebound, then I'm gonna to go to this side. Same thing, I can go to my left, I can go to my right. Boom, step back, jumper, get my rebound, back and forth, back and forth, two minutes, right? Two minutes of step back jumpers going to your right hand, going to your left. 
work on creating space to get your jump shot off. If a defender's playing you tight, you need some space, boom, give them that hard step back, the step back jumper, uh, create that space that you need to get your shot off. All right, this is the fourth drill of your pregame warm-up. Now remember, this is a pre-game warm-up. We're not trying to kill ourselves. We're not trying to get super tired. We're just trying to get a nice little sweat, get our body warmed up and ready to go. Step back jumpers in full speed. All right, Hoopers. Last two minutes, you're going three-point shooting from five spots. Check me out, here we go. So you got five spots. If you don't know what they are, it's corner, wing, top, wing, and corner. Two minutes straight of this. All it is is I want you to give some sort of dribble move into your jumper. So we're saying we're out in an isolation situation. Maybe I give you an in and out jumper. Maybe I give you a between the legs jumper. Maybe I give you a crossover jumper, behind the back, whatever it is, okay? But you got two minutes of this. So I'm shooting from this spot, I get my rebound, I'm going to the wing. Same thing, give a move, three point shot. Get my rebound, go to the top. Boom, give a move, three point shot. Get my rebound, go to the opposite wing. Give a move, rebound, corner, and back, okay? So once I finish in that corner, I'm gonna start back over, all right? So I get my five shots, and after I finish in the corner, shoot, get my rebound, I'm going back to this corner, and I'm gonna start over. Two minutes straight of it. All right, this is the last two minutes of the 10 minute pregame warm up. Get yourself going from the three point line. Here it is in full speed. All right, Hoopers, well, that's it for this video today. Again, that's your 10 minute pregame warm up. Now, we're not trying to, you know, tire ourselves out, but we're trying to get ready and loose for the game. All right, so there's five drills. Again, each drill you're doing for two minutes total. Now, until I see you again next time, what I need you to do is click the like button and leave a comment for us. Let us know what you think. Most importantly, click that subscribe button and join Think Pro Basketball. Check out all the great content that we have to offer you on our channel that we're trying to help you take your game to the next level. So check it all out. We have it all to help you become a better basketball player by dribbling, scoring, shooting, passing, teammate, off the court type of stuff. We're here to help you improve your game. So until I see you again next time, hit the gym, hit the court, put the work in, and remember to always keep hooping. See you next time.